Hey guys, how is it going today? Well, first things first, I look a bit like an airport controller with this headset. It's uh, pretty big, but it's amazing. Sound quality is awesome. Anyway, to the point, myself and my man here, as you can see in your screen right now, it is Nick, AKA Run The Foot Market. How are you doing, man? You doing well? Good, I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me on today, Matt. Anytime. So. This guy is like, right now, in the FIFA community, a bit of a Jedi master when it comes to trading. And right now, I am like a prodigy, trying to get better at trading, and I've started to. You guys have seen on the road to glory, and it's been really good fun. But today, we're gonna to run through a lot of players who could be not only good player investments, but also very good tips for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's just, I guess, jump right into it. Shall we have a look at Drekken Informs first, or what, what Yeah, do let's talk about, you wanna talk about, um like informs and monthlies and what's going on today with that? Yeah. So right now, guys, we have monthlies. Matt and I have been looking uh, on a Discord call all morning. Monthlies are about to come out in like an hour and a half. And basically, we got out of the whole Black Friday market crash. We've been seeing a lot of player prices start to go up. Um, Team of the Week 10, which features uh, Hazard, Nangolin, Vidal, Pogba, a lot of elite players, a lot of great players. We're very low in value on, uh, on Saturday and Sunday because we got a Team of the Week SBC. People... Went like crazy, they opened those packs, and basically if you bought on Saturday or Sunday, it was a great time to buy. You guys made a lot of coins, but what Matt and I are noticing right now, a lot of these guys are going down in value. I mean, Hazard went up to like 1 million, a little bit over, um, on Xbox like last night and the day before, so these guys recovered, obviously. And right now, like, they're down to 950k. A lot of people are panicking uh, their investments a few hours before monthlies, and it's something that I've noticed all FIFA this year. It's a really good time to invest in some players of informs um, from players that are going to be in, you know, in potential to be getting monthly versions. And what usually happens is what I'm seeing is that a lot of people, they think they're going to pack Pogba, they think they're going to pack Hazard, <laughs> and they think they're going to pack Sun. So they end up selling these guys a few hours before the event uh, in, in hopes of it's... getting these guys. I think usually a majority don't actually pack them. And then what happens is you get the weekly rewards as well. These guys are getting 150, 200,000 coins into their accounts, and you're seeing a few hours after monthly uh, rewards and weeklies come out, whenever it is, you're seeing that a lot of these informs from that month that actually weren't packed end up going flying in price. And I'm, I'm assuming we're going to see that today. Me and Matt right now, Matt and I are looking at Hazard being sold like yeah, 950K right now, and we're sitting here like, oh my God. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I'm, we're, I think we're both expecting him to go up. Uh, after awards today, so we'll see how that goes. So guys, we just ran through a really good example, uh, and Nick went into full detail there about how even guys like A9 Skills, I think he sold Inform Sun, right? Did he, was it Sun? I think yeah, he sold? I think on his, um, I think on his Road to Glory, he sold Sun, uh, hoping he would pack him today. Yeah, it's, and it's it's a great point. I think those are like that. It's you've got to look out for it, especially during like weekly rewards or yeah totally. monthly rewards. It's a massive thing, um, and I think today like. I mean, I think we're both very tempted to try and buy this Hazard. I mean, mm -hmm. 950k for this guy, it's crazy. he's probably got one of the best cards in the game. And yeah. people do really do think they're gonna pack him when he's so rare. Um, obviously people will, there'll be a few, but I mean, my God, he's gonna go up in price 100%. Do you reckon his price will be like 1.1 in like a week or two? I think I think if you give it till you know a week or two from now, these guys, Pog by Hazard, they have to be selling in the millions. There's no way. They don't sell there. They're too good not to too be good. that. Yeah, too good. They're, they seem to be. Uh, Hazard, yeah. Oh, there's there's two now on the market. Nine fifty. I know. For I'm looking at the same thing. Hazard's <laughs> oh like. Oh my god. There's two under nine sixty nine. There's like four right now, listed under nine sixty. Which I think That's... the lowest I saw him, even with a team guys, even with a team of the week SBC out, where you can literally submit a squad and get a guaranteed team of the week ten player with that crazy team of the week. The lowest I saw him during that period, I think was like. 920 930 940 at lowest so it's crazy he's going down so much right now this is i guess the next thing then which we can quite i guess naturally move on to yeah is the fact that Lionel messi during oh. black friday was <laughs> was it 750 730 yeah it was on the market lowest it was seven i want to say 730 740 on xbox man oh my god and I, i'm on it now he, guys, he just sold for 880,000 coins. So someone has made, I mean, after EA tax, is that like, is that 100K? If yeah, that, maybe at 800K, that, that, that. you're gonna get taxed like 40K on that sale. So, oh, okay. yeah. Cool, so it's, yeah, wow. It's still, you still make a lot of coins, obviously. That's mm -hmm. insane. That's like, that's actually quite shocking to see that. Ronaldo as well, 1.9, yep. just sold. Um, 
I mean, and he he lowest was one point six, one point. <laughs> I even saw him, I think one point five five. And for me, just as a projection, I'm expecting guys. Ronaldo's he's the best. He's the best guy in the game. I'm expecting him because we have no crazy promos, you know, besides teams of the group stage. But we don't really have anything crazy coming up. He's gonna probably continue to go up, especially, you know, team of the group stage. He's looking at maybe getting a potential striker card, and it's gonna put his gold card out of packs for a week. Imagine oh that guy gosh. not being packed. Oh, man. You know, you could see him easily he's, in the two millions. He's on his way. I mean, you've hyped up a lot. The striker Ronaldo that we could potentially be seeing from the insane. group stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's going to get another card. And that is one of the rarest cards in the game. I mean, probably the rarest card, I think. Yeah, that striker Ronaldo is going to be very rare. And, of course, he's going to go out of packs, like, after the, the promo is over. So, yep. I mean, he's only going to rise... I am so intrigued to see what his price is. Like, I, I find trading so interesting. And I think a lot of people, maybe after watching this, like, oh my God, they could have got themselves a Messi, maybe, for that price, and then sold him on. But not mm -hmm. only Messi, though. Um, me and Nick have been looking at this very, quite aggressively with uh, Salah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, looking at his price now, I think on the road to glory, guys, I picked him up for 5K. And right now, literally right now, he is, I think, is he 7.9? Yeah, so, oh. yeah, 8K probably, Dumped right? Down. I nearly sniped one. Yeah, he's, um, I think he's 8K. Yeah, yeah. 8,000 coins. So even that, I mean, with Salah, I think, again, I've learned this from Nick and others like L-Dog and um, Golden Bear as well, was a great yep. trader. I went and I went and like sniped a lot of Elnenis for, was it 400 coins? Yeah, and now <laughs> he's like, he's close to 2,000 coins. So before the oh game yesterday, you know, That's Salah was like looking like the front runner for player of the month. Um, but obviously yesterday he scored two goals and now people are like completely on the Salah hype train. You've seen his once the watch card is up, what were we saying? Like 130k today? Yeah. Something my God. mad like that. Like he's close to five hundred K. The Egyptian players I know Matt picked up some El Nenis for four hundred coins and they're now selling for like two thousand. Um, which is crazy. <laughs> it's mad. And the, we were talking a little bit earlier about the potential of the future informs of Salah. I mean, you're looking team of the week 12. He's probably going to get in. I can't see how he doesn't get in with two goals. Then he's uh, he's going to win player of the month. So, you know, EA's been giving the plus two boost for player of the month cards. We've seen that so far in a lot of the guys. So I would expect 87 rated inform next week from Salah. Then you're going to look at an 89 rated player of the month with a potential team of the group stage card as well. I mean, Salah's looking at three special card potentials in the next, like, what, week and a half? It's mad. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm looking at him and he's probably, he's 1.7 right now, pretty much. But then Salah wants to watch. He was interesting. Last night, when um, we beat Stoke 3-0, Salah scored two, obviously, and as soon as he scored the second one, that one is, like, yep. his, um, his wants to watch went up a lot. And I think it went up by, like, 40K in, like, two minutes, something crazy like that. Um, so it shows like you've always got to be on the market in some kind of way if you can. Totally. It's, it's tough. Um, yeah, I think Salah right now is. Let's have a look. I think he's 450. Dude, um, I, don't, I don't mean to interrupt you, but Hazard's just been listed at 945. 940? <laughs> I think 945. you need to buy him, like right now. I'm really <laughs> looking into it. Yeah. It's crazy. What price man, how would much you want to buy him for? Maybe I think 930. for me, like, if, I, if he goes down to like in the 30s, that's a no brainer. I have to, I have to buy him. So I'm just carefully monitoring that. It doesn't look like a lot of people are buying him, but it is it is mad right now. What Matt and I have been watching all morning is that, I mean, people are just in a panic. I think these guys think that their pack look is going to be crazy, and they're going to pack all these guys. It's, it's pretty mad right now what we're seeing, and it's happening between all Team of the Weeks from Team of the Week 7 to Team of the Week 11, which are all eligible for this week's uh, this month's monthly rewards. And I think we've seen it in Sun the most because Sun is a player that I watch a lot. He's... Arguably one of the most overpowered players in the Premier League in terms of an in-game player on FIFA and He's great investing wise because so many people like him um, But uh, yeah, he was 450 K last night and I saw a few sell there and now he's 410 K So a lot of <laughs> lot of yeah, it's like happening everywhere. It's not just Hazard. It's not it, It's really going on with everything right now And it's it's something that I've actually never seen this much panic before a monthly reward So it's gonna be interesting it's... to see if we get a massive rise it's interesting because I, because I remember I bought Inform Pogba for nine oh nine the other day, and I thought, you know what, every day is going to go up and up and up. And then I went on Ultimate Team today, guys, this morning at ten a.m. UK time. I was like, wow, Pogba's Inform price right now, I think, was eight, yeah, eight, 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 eight hundred and eighty-five thousand coins was his cheapest by now, which has gone down because of monthlies. Yet as soon as tonight's over, 
his price is going to start rising. I mean, totally. 100%. Um, but I'm looking at Salah's price right now, Nick, and he's gone. What's this one gone? No one's bought their Salah yet, but it's four, four, six thousand coins on the market. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you think what will his price be, do you reckon, after if he gets another in form? I think, I think, you know, he's probably going to get up in the hype next week. Could probably touch the 500 area, right? And then I think what you're going to see, and this is a quick tip to anybody who's watching. If you guys have a ones to watch card and you think or you know your player that you've invested in is he had a crazy game or something and you think he has a really good shot at team of the week the best time to sell that ones to watch card is a few hours before the team of the week announcement on wednesdays we've learned this year in and year out that whenever whenever they you know the the whole picture comes out on twitter and they announce the new team of the week the panic selling starts then and it's crazy even if the card gets an inform it, it usually does end up going down unless this is the only exception for it obviously is that if it wasn't expected to get in say like Neymar wasn't expected to get in next week just mm -hmm. as a hypothetical right and he's not inflated in value at all and then he does get into team of the week he's going to skyrocket in price but if you had a guy like Mbappe who's been up 250k all week because people think he's going to get in team of the week usually he will go down um, and it's a really good tip actually that if, if that happens and, you know, they tank down a lot, I think this happened with once to watch Lukaku the other week. People thought, ah, you yeah. know, he was going to get in Team of the Week, and he did. Um, but he went from 700 to 900K just right on the announcement. And then this is actually crazy, Matt. Two and a half hours after um, the Team of the Week announcement, he did get an inform. He went all the way back down to 715K. <laughs> I think I, I remember mean, that. Yeah, everyone yeah. had him. So many had him. Matt. I'm looking at like player investments and by the title of this video guys you can tell it a lot of it is all it's all about trading but then yep. uh, we've said it a lot this week we definitely think Gabriel Azus is one of the best players to invest in I mean this guy is such a machine of a card yeah high high work rates four star four star fantastic card um and right now he's 30,000 coins I mean do you think Which he can I go think, to 40k yeah more? he could totally go up and I think we we were talking about him uh, when we were talking about some training during Black Friday, and I think he was, what, at his lowest 27? So, I mean, he's, like, hardly up in value in terms of, like, him going up, and that's why he could still be a good look, and I think, you know, we like we like him a lot. The, who's the other guy we're talking about? Um, um, Inform, Callum Wilson. Callum Wilson as well. I mean, Thank think about that card a, bit, a little, little bit. The stats on that card um, are mad. Crazy good card. Him, they both. Are, in fact, do they have similar stats? Imagine too? pairing those two up top. They do. Well, Jesus has better dribbling, but then it. Yeah, they, they, they do have quite kind of similar stats actually. Yeah. Still, I mean, I think Wilson could go up to like forty-five, fifty after yeah. his team of the week. Uh, yeah. He's got a good card, but yeah, they are some of the investments, guys. With this current, I guess market, it's 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 more interesting now than things ever been. There's so much going on with ones to watches. Yeah, I mean. I'm looking at icons right now. Ronaldinho, he sold just now for 3.3 million coins. Um, 91 as well. Who else has sold it? Hazard yep. sold 980. Ronaldo sold for... Oh, no, he hasn't sold. Oh, wow. Ronaldo's price. My God. We've seen some Ronaldo sell for... Was it a guy sold a 94 Ronaldo mm -hmm. for 785? Which is insane. Yeah, yeah. Um, I never thought I'd see that. But yeah, those are some of the like best like we advice we give you guys with this. Massive thanks though to Nick being the Jedi master of a trader. <laughs> he isn't that's a that's a new thing. That's um, a new thing for sure. for sure. I think you stream on Twitch daily. Yeah, now? I stream on Twitch uh, pretty much daily and then I upload on YouTube as well. Awesome. The links will be down below guys. Make sure to follow, subscribe to Nick, all that good stuff. They will be in the description. Hope you enjoyed this different video as well. It's been a lot of fun. And yep. um, yeah, we'll um, Catch you guys next time.